Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Faller. I'm your friendly evolutionary astrologer here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 9th and the 14th of December 2017. We're going to keep it short and sweet this time. We already talked about Mars and Scorpio in the last video and it entered Scorpio on the 9th. And Mars feels well in Scorpio. In ancient astrology, it's, it's uh, dominion. And in um, modern astrology, it's the co-ruler of, uh, of Scorpio. So it feels strong there, sometimes even too strong. It could be too obsessive about our actions, about our needs, about our desires. We could be too total and inflexible and the need for intensivity grows. And as long as we watch that, that could be a beautiful time in which we are more focused about creating action and, and forward movement that is more authentic and, and more that gives us more personal power. But if we're not aware of... Um, ego energies and militant energies and aggressive energies we could be too much for people around us and on the extreme levels we could be violent or people could be more violent at this time this is not a very easy energy to compromise with well, of course we are in the midst of a very strong mercury retrograde that started at the super full moon squaring uh, Neptune and it's just I, I, I get a lot of ricochets from people around power failures and computer malfunctions phone dying so on and so forth so just take it easy and it's amazing the number of people who actually change apartments change vehicles uh, sign contracts at the Mercury retrograde and uh, as I said before I'm not against that I mean if you have to do it and it happens to be a Mercury retrograde do it just don't plan for changes in a Mercury retrograde but if they do happen they can turn out for the best on the 10th the moon is going to be in Virgo uh, so uh, it's already an influence that brings more criticism and more and the need for perfectionism is heightened uh, both self criticism and criticism regarding people around us scrutiny and this moon is going to oppose Chiron squaring Saturn and Mercury so watch what you say watch how you navigate your life remember that we could be a little too hurt and too sensitive on that day and that could influence the way we react and 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 walk forward so this is just a day to be a little less um, sharp edged and more rounded and just flow more with go more with the flow and not really um, be too judgmental regarding yourself or other people on that day on the 12th we have mercury in kazimi the ancient uh, astrologers considered a state of kazimi when a planet is in the heart of the sun as a very strong place for that planet when Mercury is in Kazemi, in the heart of the sun, this is a time that the mercurial essence is heightened and we could actually vision and plan forward and navigate through our life better, even though Mercury is in a retrograde. So, you know, um, we could have epiphanies, we could suddenly understand all these truths about our lives and about what it is we should be doing and generally a very good time to take a few minutes, meditate, do a ceremony, visualize, it's going to be here on the 12th, it's going to be here on the 13th as well, but I recommend that you do it on the 12th as Mercury enters Kazemi. The moon on the 12th is going to be in Libra and it's going to square Pluto. So, just, hello Georgia. You want to come and say hello? Yeah, you haven't been in the last videos and people are wondering, what happened to you? Have you retired? Not retired. 
Not at all. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I haven't retired either. You want to come and say hello a minute? But just the people that will see you a minute. You know? So Georgia is saying hello. Say hello. Hello. Georgia is very upset with this Mercury retrograde as her tablet that I just brought her for Christmas um, fell in her cat litter and got wet. So we have to return it now. And I want to see the Apple wizards or geniuses or whatever they are called when I tell them that my cat dropped her tablet in her litter box. Of course, that's not true. I'm just joking. <laughs> so we were on the 12th the moon is in Libra but it squares Pluto and Mercury and Cosimi as well um, so when the moon squares Pluto again there's a need not to be obsessive there's a need not to be too intensive too total to be aware that we could be more full of intensive emotion which in extremes goes out as rage and we could be more sexual on that day um, and this is just a day not to be caught up in the drama and, and, and uh, handled by our feelings and have a little more cognitive abilities and cerebral abilities and navigate our life through our minds. On the 13th, Mercury in Kazimi as well, the moon is conjunct Mars opposing Uranus. Another day that at least emotionally we don't have a lot of patience, we could have a shorter fuse and we want to move forward. Just be uh, aware of that so you don't burst out. And if people do around you, you can handle it calmly. So <clears throat> on the 14th, we have the moon in Scorpio, which is besieged by Jupiter and Vista on the one hand and Mars on the other. It is walking towards Jupiter and Vista, walking away from Mars. Thank God. And so this, this could be a day that starts a little more intense and action-packed day but as it goes forward it becomes an important day on a spiritual level on an ideological level a fun day a day that we could feel like we're having the amount of freedom that we want and 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 that life is blissful and the, the conjunction to vista a little later on is about kindling our sacred fire vista is a goddess that um concerns everything that we feel is sacred in our life and we want to be devoted to in our lives so this could turn out to be an important day an important evening now we are heading next week to a conjunction between Saturn the Sun Venus and Lilith and they're going to be conjunct for the next uh, for the not for this week for the week after that as Saturn moves into Capricorn along with the Sun and this is a big change this is a big conjunction we're going to talk about it more in the next video and in the meantime remember that every comment every like and every share exposes this video to more people and Mark Zuckerberg wants me to pay a lot of people uh, a lot of money to to advertise these videos which I don't like doing I like it to be organic and I like you to bring it out to people and of course, for uh, if you want to join our evolutionary astrology study group with me, you can from everywhere you are around the world, from your smartphone or from your computer. And for private consultations, any question you might have, I'm here. This is Boaz Feiler signing out. Hoping you're going to have an amazing weekend and a beautiful week ahead. Thank you for listening. Thank you for spreading the light. Bye-bye.